Okay, so I want to just give you a quick overview, quick glance at the difference between a $15 boom mic stand, swivel arm, uh, whatever you want to call it, and the Rode PSA1 boom mic stand. So on the left here, I've got a new Whir, new Weir. Uh, it's a $15 clamp from Amazon. So this is the bracket that mounts to the desk. Um, it's got some, it came like this, so it's got some finish issues with the screw. It works just fine, but you can see where uh, in the manufacturing process it just didn't get completely painted or polished, or I'm not really sure, it just looks corroded. Needless to say, it works fine, um, but this is the bracket um, for the mount for the $15 one. It also comes with a three ace adapter for the or five ace to three ace adapter um, for mounting on the actual uh, thread here but just more or less what I wanted to show you was the difference kind of a side-by-side -side comparison uh, of the quality of these two arms now I'll get into and I'll edit this in later but I'll demonstrate these two arms but just at a glance you can kind of see where the differences lie um, again, these are the, the two brackets here, side by side. This is the Rode bracket, desk bracket. Uh, the Rode also comes with a permanent mount. If you want to drill it into your desk, drill a hole through it and mount it permanently. This has a, like a rubber or like a silicone sort of insert um, so that uh, it doesn't scratch or make noise, I guess, or squeak. Whereas the $15 mount you can see here just sort of it's metal on metal that doesn't make a lot of noise when you swing it around but uh, you can tell where that would come in handy especially if you're recording audio um, this is the $15 new ear again not sure the pronunciation there but it's the $15 new ear arm and again just side by side you can kind of get a difference in terms of quality thickness this has external springs so the springs are kind of loaded on the sides uh, whereas with the road I think the spring mechanism is inside I haven't actually opened it I just got it here so I haven't actually cut this off um, or set it up yet but again this is kind of just the first look because you know honestly I, went, I bought this first and then I upgraded my microphone and I just wasn't comfortable leaving the mic on a $15 stand. So I just wanted something a little more substantial, a little more heavy duty. Uh, luckily enough, I actually bought this on Craigslist, but you can find this on Amazon for 99 bucks uh, or just under 99 bucks. And this, like I said, floats somewhere around 15 bucks. So again, just first look at the differences between the two and I'll go ahead and cut to another segment where uh, these two are set up, or at least I can show them sort of in action. Uh, all right, so here's a final look at them side by side. The new ear microphone stand is on the left, the Rode mic is on the right in terms of the mic stand from Rode. Uh, it's currently attached to an SM7B which is a pretty substantial mic. It's heavy um, and you know moves around really well in terms of supporting the weight. You can kind of move it wherever you need to move it if you need a full extension and um, you know you can kind of get it extended pretty far out. Uh, but you can see in the background how small the new ear actually looks in relation. It's kind of hard to see on the video, but in terms of height at the initial angle, um, you know, the Rode mic has got substantial height difference. And then kind of as, as mentioned in the previous clip, uh, length, you know, you're not going to get that same kind of extension here. I mean, this is about as far as you can go. And I'll see if I can get a better angle here. But uh, the Rode, you know, will come out pretty far so um, that's kind of what we're looking at in terms of side by side another couple things that are important I think you know regarding whether or not you choose to go with the road or something more uh, upgrade and upgrade compared to the newer $15 mic is just the overall build I mean when you're if you look at this bracket here I mean you're talking about positioning a mic on something like this where as far as I could tell it's a pin that's sort of screwed between you know kind of clamped between these and so if this loosens at all this pin is gonna potentially slide out and then in terms of the rest of the build it's just I mean it's thin metal it's cheap 
It's got springs on the outside, coils that sort of like rattle and make that noise. You can kind of pick that up. Um, yeah, and I mean, it doesn't have anything to sort of lock down the cables. And mind you that on the road it's just simply Velcro, so it's not super fancy in that sense, but I mean, it does have like a little channel here in the back to sort of like get the cable going. And, uh, but again, if you look at this, this again, this is the sort of, um, I'm not sure what the technical term is, but the, how you actually configure and mount this to your microphone. So this gold piece is the brass adapter, the three ace, and then it's got a locking sort of piece here. And then this is built so you can adjust this and then this will spin so that you can actually rotate the mic without actually rotating the screw. Now, sometimes when I had um, like a Yeti or something attached to here, you can not actually swivel the mic because there's no, like this, I mean, it, it swivels, um, but again, you're kind of concerned about that pin just sort of popping out of there. Um, and again, I just wasn't willing to put uh, <laughs> this particular microphone uh, on a, this particular setup. So again, my reasons for buying are a little bit different than yours. Uh, excuse the lighting in here. This is all a work in progress. Uh, but just wanted to show you kind of a side by side difference because I know, you know, a lot of people consider going, you know, they're like, what's the difference? You know, $15 boom arm compared to a, you know, $100 one. But just overall quality, build, security, uh, trust that, you know, it's going to actually hold your microphone. Again, it's got the extra distance in terms of like, the length on the other one, uh, and I just feel a whole lot more comfortable with this particular setup. So, again, that's a quick comparison of the New Ear $15 mic stand and the Rode PSA-1. Uh, mind you that this actually supports a reasonable amount of weight. So, you know, I haven't put the Shure on here, but it was at one point holding a Blue Yeti microphone, which is a giant sort of sized mic that's heavy. And it doesn't really have a problem, you know, holding that weight. So, um, you know, that that wasn't fine. It didn't really sag at all. Uh, but I'm more or less talking about just build overall build quality. And like I said, you get a bit of more length on it, um, which is always helpful. So, uh, if you guys found that helpful at all, this video, if you went with one or the other. Uh, let me know for what reasons if you went with a different one uh, if you went with maybe like the Really fancy ones like the yellow tech. I think it's the Mika's or the M-I-K-A yellow techs uh, Which you see in radio broadcast systems stations uh, Those are really nice, but again at a much higher price point. So for now, you know, this is this is the Go-to setup that I'm going to use Thanks again for watching if you found that useful in any way thumbs up always works and helps me out a lot encourages me, encourages me to make more videos like this so thanks again guys for watching and we'll talk to you soon